Check out the brand new shirts, including trusty blue and the Sting Money design, over at ProWrestlingTees.com slash 616 Entertainment. This video is also brought to you in part by the Patreon producers, without whom content like this would not be possible. World Championship Wrestling! What's up, Dan Dans? This week on 616 Nitro, my name is Ian, by the way, I'm fucking up my own intro. This week on 616 Nitro, we're going to play a little bit of WCW Wrestling on the NES. Look at this roster, dude. Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat, Lex Luger, Road Warrior, Hawk and Animal, Mike Rotunda, Kevin Sullivan, Steve Williams, Eddie Gilbert, Michael Hayes, Rick Steiner. I think we got to... We gotta play a Sting, you know what I'm saying? What's One of the really cool things about this game, looks like our first opponent is gonna be the Freebird, Michael Hayes. One of the really cool things is we get to choose our move list. I like the Pile Driver, I like the Brain Buster. Bulldogs are pretty sweet, and you can't go wrong with the Neck Breaker Drop. Now if you wanna see, the referee just zaps out of existence, if you wanna see me give this game the full retrospective treatment, look at the neck breaker, boom! I've already done so on the history of WCW video games from 28, 2019? When did I make that? Is that 2019? I think so. Oh no, Michael Hayes with the big clothesline. Now Dan Dan's, some of you look out for the pile, wait a minute, pile driver? Boom! God damn, I love that. Some of you may be more familiar with the 8-bit WWF games like WrestleMania or WrestleMania Challenge. And I can tell you, look at the big bulldog ski! I actually was not familiar with any of the 8-bit wrestling games. Uh, I didn't have any wrestling games on the NES. My first one was WWF Royal Rumble on the Sega Genesis. So these were all new to me later in life. Can't get a two count just yet. Uh, the way that you play this game, if you don't know anything about it, is you have to hit these little punches and kicks that do indeed look pretty silly. And when your opponent is knocked over, when they're winded and groggy, you can hit them with a big vertical suplex. Just like that. You press A and a directional button, and it triggers a move. You want to hold the buttons down until the meter is at its fullest, and then you let go, triggering the move. We have Michael Hayes in two count territory, but do we have him in finisher territory yet? Not just yet. Here we go. That's a big pile driver for you deeds, and now I feel pretty good about locking in the Scorpion Deathlock. I think we can put this guy away pretty early going here. Fuck. Not before he's gonna hit me. Don't do that clothesline. Don't look at that big reversal on the ropes. We are. Hitting the neck breaker. We were a little too close to the ropes there for my liking. So that didn't work out super well. Son of a bitch. I was going to say that didn't work out super well, but neither did that. I was like, eating a clothesline, getting put down from a deeds. Stay away from me, Michael Hayes, you son of a bitch. <laughs> There's a big vertical suplex. Now I got him right in the middle of the ring. I got to get him dazed one more time. Get up, get up. I know you're beat up. I know you're hurt. Son of a bitch. That's a pile driver for my deeds! That doesn't feel very good. Fucking shit! If I'm not careful, he's gonna hit me with his finisher. There's a big running drop kick. My body was taking priority over his and he was kind of glitching out of existence there. Come on, come on. Look at that vertical suplex! Now I got my meter full. There's no reason why I can't submit this dude with the scorpion deathlock. Get up! We got about two minutes remaining. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Oh, big insiguri! My brain is scrambled. Now, we don't want to lose our first match here. Fuck. Ugh. This is not going very well. This is not an easy game. It, it, looks, it looks simplistic, and it is. Oh. Uh, I missed my big shoulder butt there. Big wind up for nothing. It looks simplistic, and it definitely is simplistic, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Oh no, oh no! He's looking for the Boston Crab! We cannot get submitted. We are a submission specialist! Okay, we survived. Not by much, but we did. Okay, got him, got him. Come here. 
It, the, the game is just not satisfied with me going for a finisher. But R... Fuck, it wouldn't let me get up on the top rope either. This There's a conspiracy against me here. That I'm sure of. Come here. There we go! Drop him down. Here is the Scorpion Deathlock. No can defend. Go ahead, tap out. Tap out, Michael Hayes. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like James Hetfield from Metallica. Look at all these beautiful boys and girls here in the audience. That's 1-0, and dog. 3 minutes, 47 seconds. The Stinger puts away Michael P.S. Hayes. But who is up next? Oh my goodness! If you guys have been following along, we're going to go with the backdrop, the bulldog, the double arm suplex, and I do want to keep the pile driver in our arsenal. If you have been following along with the 616 Nitro and 616 Smackdown storylines, you know that Sting and Rick Steiner have had a hell of a feud. And this is just one of many, here we go, big double arm suplex, one of many matchups that these guys have already seen. And I believe Rick Steiner has a leg up on the Stinger at the moment. I don't know if I want to count this for the story though. Does this count? Here's a bulldog for your deeds. Now I'm hitting him with his own move there. And he's only staying down for a one and barely a one at that. I guess this does count. I want to say right now, Rick Steiner, it's one to two for Rick Steiner, but someone can correct me in the comments if that's not accurate. There's a big pile driver for your deeds. Go for the cover once again. Let's see where we're at. No progress. Absolutely no progress. Still just a one. A one on the dot. Rick Steiner dropping us with a big deal there. Now the punches, I personally... Oh, up and over the top rope! I personally... Personally... Personally? What the fuck does personally mean? I personally find the punches to be uh, damn near useless. They're so hard to connect. There's a double arm suplex for your deeds. Now I'm trying to pick him up. It's not working very well. Let's see where we're at. Almost a two. See, I like to use the pin, the pinfall attempts to kind of gauge where my guy is. Now here is a big bulldog. Can we get something going from the top rope? Not this time. I, I think that, fa that upper right turnbuckle just is not my friend. That seems to be the case. Double arm suplex. Now I'm not going to try to get to that top rope because I know it's not going to work. I'm going to wait for him to get up. I'm going to run at him. Ooh, nope. Nope. <laughs> and if we, if we keep running, we will tire ourselves out. Man, Rick Steiner does not want me in the ring. Oh shit. Who threw the wrench? Who threw the wrench? There is an agent of bullshit in the crowd who has it in for Sting. Rick Steiner has support in this crowd. And I don't know how I feel about it as he hits a big back suplex. I'm, I'm gonna call the police. Who threw him a wrench? I'm pissed now. I feel like Lex Luger. <laughs> and your t-shirts are too tight too, Billy. Come here. Come here into my corner, Rick. This is what happens, huh? Big pile driver. We're, I wanna get up. Why can I not? It's not letting me go up on the top rope, and I'm, I'm upset about that. But you know what I'm not upset about? We'll abandon the top... Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, Rick Steiner with the jumping 360 wheel kick. I'm not upset about this. Scorpion Deathlock, middle of the ring. Can Rick Steiner survive? Absolutely not can he survive. That puts the stinger. It might be two to two now. This feud might be two to two, and to blow it off, we might need to have a big Sting versus Rick Steiner main event. What do you guys think about that? Oh my goodness. Eddie Gilbert is the man standing in front of us at this juncture. 
Now we're gonna move around the, the move set a little bit. We've had the neck breaker, we're gonna go with the brain buster. I don't know what a Cobra Twist is, so we're gonna put that in there. Boston Crab to, to loosen him up for the Scorpion Deathlock. And I'm gonna keep the Bulldog. Pile Driver, we're gonna let go. Fight. Now, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert may be a legend of the past. And I hope some of you Dan Dans in the comments, I know some of you know who he is. But I hope some of you younger Dan Dans know about Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. Because if you don't, you need to look into it. This is a guy that you're going to have a lot of fun watching, always extremely entertaining, and I love that he has his shades on in this game. You know, these are... Oh, fuck, I did not... I did not strengthen that Boston Crab very well. But still, we got, like, good five cranks in on that son bitch. This is an 8-bit game, and a lot of times in these older wrestling games, the graphics were so simplistic, some of the guys, like, didn't have faces... Some of the guys, their outfits were just way off, and they looked like shit. They do not want me to get up on this top rope, and I cannot figure out why. <laughs> but here in WCW Wrestling, Sting has his face paint. Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert is wearing his sunglasses. This is not to be fucked with, man. WCW Wrestling is underappreciated. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I, th I don't know what happened there. Here we go. Top rope. Big splash. One. Not even a two count. Eddie Gilbert does not respect my top rope. My top rope splash. But he's tossing me over the top rope for my deeds. Now, Dan Dan's. I asked you if you know who Eddie Gilbert is. If you have any memories of him. Now I'm gonna ask you. Do you have any memories? They do not want us to grapple out here. Nobody was getting groggy from those kicks. It was an exercise in futility. Uh, now I want to ask you if you have any memories of this game. And this is a tight Boston Crab. We might be able to submit him right here. Nope. Not quite. But! He's hurt. One, two. Oh, shit! That's a 2.7, though. You gotta love that. One of my favorite parts of Fire Pro is when a guy kicks out at 2.9. So to see an actual clock here kind of has that same feeling. Here we go. That's it! Goodbye, Eddie Gilbert. There really should be a seizure warning in this game. I'm sorry. That's I'm not even kidding. Like, that's pretty intense. So I hope that nobody has an issue with that. Eddie Gilbert taps out in the center of the ring. Sting is three and zero here on six one six Nitro. Everybody's losing their fucking minds. Look at that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh oh. Steve Williams! You guys may know him better as Dr. Death. What a fucking great name Dr. Death is, right? right. Now we are, we're making some progress here. We, we, we didn't talk backstage. Us wearing the same outfits was not planned. <laughs> it's just one of those things that happens, I suppose. Not even a one count. Only one move in. Don't even get a one count on Dr. Death. And if you're... Oh, shit. No! Who's throwing the wrenches? I don't believe that somebody wants me to get that wrench. Because they're only throwing the wrench. Go ahead, stay out there and get counted out, you fucking idiot. Please. Please stay out there and get counted out. That's how stupid you are. With your caveman brain. I will stand right here and wait for you. Fuck. <laughs> okay, you thought better of it. I was going to say, what a hell of a thing that would be to capture on an episode of 616 Nitro. The AI being so bloodthirsty that they'd rather get counted out than put down their fucking weapon. Here's what I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. Shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Big Gorilla Press! That was gnarly, too, because he dropped me face first. A lot of times for a Gorilla Press or a military press, you see the guy... Oh, we didn't cook that Boston Crab. It's such weird timing there. You see a guy at least flip his opponent over, you know what I mean, and drop him back first. Dr. Death is dropping the stinger face down on that deal. Look at this. Boom! Just pancaking him into the floor. That's not very comfortable. We got him. We got the better of him there. Here's a neck breaker for you deeds. Not letting me go up to the top rope. Maybe they need to be close enough to the corner 
for you to use the top rope. That's a possibility, I guess. Here's a big abdominal stretch, and I think this is that move that I didn't know what it was. What the fuck did they call it? Like a lemon twist or something? <laughs> get up, get up. Oh no, come on, come on! Asshole breaker! That doesn't feel very good. Now, is that the scientific term for that move? No. The scientific term is an atomic drop. But I'm gonna call it the asshole breaker, and they're still not letting me go on the top rope. I'm telling you, there is a conspiracy. Fuck! Right into a Dr. Death clothesline. There is a conspiracy against the Stinger. I'm absolutely sure of it. As Steve Williams picks up a head of steam, and oh no, what is this? That was like a, that was like an atomic drop into a backbreaker. I don't like that. I'll tell you what I do like though. I do like this. This abdominal stretch is doing big business for me. And we're, we're purposely, here we go, top rope. Big knee drop into the cover. How is that not enough? All right, all right, new plan. That atomic drop backbreaker, I don't like it. I don't like getting hit with that. The new plan, shit, shit, shit. My asshole's broken once again. What's wrong, little Scorpion? Your stinger broke? <laughs> That's what the guy who threw the fucking wrench is saying. Top rope once again. Big splash. Put him away! One, two. Shit. 2.4? What? I think we got a 2.5 or a 2.6 last time. Oh no, he's going up top! Big splash! Ooh, now he's in that 2.4 range. Oh no. Shit, shit, shit! That's the power slam! One, two. We kicked out of his finish. How do you feel about that, Dr. Death? Tell me about this! I tried to do a scorpion death lock, it didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> so we locked in the Boston Crab, and it's enough! That's gonna get it done! How embarrassing for Dr. Death. We didn't even need the Scorpion Deathlock. We kick out of his finish and put him away with one of our basic grapple moves. Are you nuts? The Stinger is 4-0. And Kevin Sullivan, the devil himself, is up next. For him, we definitely need the Pile Driver, the Brain Buster, the Bulldog. And I'm going to keep the Cobra Twist in my arsenal because I like using the submission moves. Now, Kevin Sullivan, man, these graphics are fucking dated, but the golden horseshoe up on top, the kind of, the stocky body, and Kevin Sullivan actually did wear tights like that. You know, Sting did not wear tights that have like the underwear over the top, like fucking Batman or Superman or something. But the Taskmaster himself, he would rock this look. So it's really, it's not uh, out of the realm of possibility here. There's a big body slam ski from the fucking evil Kel Kevin Sullivan. I almost said Kelvin Sullivan. Who is he? UFC fighter Kelvin Gastelum? You son of a bitch. Come here. There we go. You're getting tossed over the top rope. Who's got a wrench for the stinger, huh? Nobody. See? The conspiracy lives. The fucking conspiracy is real. I'm telling you. God damn it. <laughs> Here we go. On the outside. Oh, shit. I locked in a submission move on the outside. I don't know if I'm going to have time to get back in the ring. Get in the ring! Sting, get in the ring! Woo! That's as close as it gets right there. Holy shit. How about a little bit of bulldog action for your deeds, huh? Shit. Man, Kevin Sullivan ain't playing. We've been putting a whooping on him. Hit him with that bulldog. Got him in that fucking stretch on the outside of the ring. Not even a two. There's a big vertical suplex ski. What do you think about that? I got an idea. Ooh, nope. Nope. Stop running, Sting! <laughs> one of you guys made fun of me in the comments recently on one of the uh, Smackdown Shut Your Mouth Jeff Hardy episodes because I was backstage 
And I was like, Jeff, will you run? Run, Jeff! And then as soon as I started running, I was like, all right, slow down! <laughs> it's like, what do you want? Kevin Sullivan, Kevin Sullivan, looking for that Boston Crab! I don't like it. Now, Dan Dan's as usual. The one and only Patches Lugosi, my beautiful dog, is sitting right next to me. He's sound asleep as Kevin Sullivan with the asshole breaker on Sting. He's trying to go to the top rope, but the game is like, sorry, Kev, you can't, you can't jump that far. You're a stocky little man. Don't you get it? <laughs> the one and only Patches Lugosi is right next to me. And if anybody wants to say hi to him down in the comments, I will tell him that you said so. And I want you to know I actually do every time. He's always glued to me. He's always here. So when I go through and I answer comments and one of you says, hi, Patches, I actually read it off to him audibly. Am I insane? Maybe. Am I okay with that? Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Patches Lugosi is my guy. Don't you get it? Come here, Kev. Come here, Kev. That's it. That's curtains for you, pal. Scorpion Deathlock. Middle of the ring. No can't defend. He won't survive. Oh my goodness, he did. But did he pass out from the pain? Oh my goodness! Kevin Sullivan! He's gonna try to submit us, but I don't think so. Here's the thing. I tried to let him off easy by pinning him after the Scorpion Deathlock. He fucked up. He should have taken me up on that offer. And he chose not to. So now, fuck. Stop. Oh, big clothesline! Now he will suffer the fate of being submitted. There's a big suplex. As soon as he gets up, he's fucked. Get up, Kev. Get up, Kev! Huh? Show me something. I don't think so. Here you go. You should have gone out the first time. Now, instead of inflicting pain until you submit, I'm gonna break both your fucking legs. I'm gonna break your back. Make you humble. <laughs> there it is! There's the tap! The verbal submission! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> The Stinger moves to 5-0 and on this episode of 616 Nitro. We are fucking killing it. But this is big trouble. You never want to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hawk or Animal. So, this is trouble. Two face-painted bad boys square off. In the WCW ring, here on 616 Nitro, and I immediately get thrown over the top rope. He, oh, you know what? Now another layer of the conspiracy onion has been has been peeled back. Because nobody threw Animal a wrench. So the question now is, is the wrench thrower prejudice against face-painted wrestlers? That could be it. That could be the case. Because everybody else got a wrench. Oh, man. He does not... Animal is just not... He doesn't want me out here, dude. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I just, like, reversed his move. Oh, I ran myself into the guardrail! Way to go, Sting, you fucking ace. And now I get slammed on the floor, which this looks like... I can't tell if this is supposed to be mats or bricks out here. Tell you what, Animal. There's a back suplex. And I... I was gonna say, I will take the count out win, but he, he doesn't want to win like that. There's a big back suplex scheme. Come on, man. Come on, man. Show me something. Huh? You so big and bad. Show me you bad. A little bit of, a little bit of, a little bit of pile driver action. Now get up. I got something else for you. Oh, no! He saw it coming. He hit me with a devastating clothesline of his own. Don't do it. Fuck, he did it again. He did it again. I was literally about to say, don't you dare throw me over the top rope, animal. And he did. But what does he have to say about this? That's the abdominal stretch for your deeds. Now I have half a mind to get a count out victory here. I really do. Fuck. He's trying to outsmart me. He's trying to outsmart the stinger. 
And he also has that atom that back suplex backbreaker, whatever you call it, move. Man, he's pushing my shit in. This is big bad news. That's a back suplex from Adidas. Oh no, he can jump far! Knee drop off the top! He was trying to go to two corners like this is fucking ready to rumble. Are you out of your ass? Come here. Double arm suplex feed Deeds. Almost a two. We could... Oh no, do you see that? Oh no, a big choke! A big choke in the center of the ring! Now if you saw that, my health meter, there was only one or two open spots, which means Animal is right next to being able to hit me with a finisher. And the problem with that is if he does, I do not know if we have enough energy to kick out of it. Sting, stop running. Sting, stop fucking running. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad. This is really bad. The choke again! He's trying to choke the life out of us! Would you stop going to the top rope? Oh, we reversed it! We got out of the way! Animal's in trouble on the mat! Get up, sucker! I, oh no, I was gonna try and go on the offensive. And he just fucking overpowered me. He closes the distance so fast! Oh man, 2.9! Come on, come on, come on! We're staying in this, guys! That abdominal stretch hurting him in the middle of the ring, and with that, I think our very next move, if we can get another one, we may have a Scorpion Deathlock lined up. The problem is, can. No! I was gonna say, can we hurt him before he hurts us, and all it took was one shot! One, two. Oh, 2.9 again! Can we hang on? Big back suplex, let's see where he's at. One, two. Oh man. No, 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 no! This is no Oh, that's no good at all. Oh, he choked the life out of us right in the middle of the ring. Less than a minute left. Oh no! Dan Dan's, this was fun. We went on a hell of a run with Sting. I think we'll cut this one short. And if you guys want to see more WCW wrestling on NES, let me know and we can make it happen. Maybe we'll play as Sting. Maybe we'll play as Ric Flair. Maybe we'll play as Ricky Steamboat. You tell me. Until next time, I love you. And I will see you next week.